Hey everybody, thought I needed to get up a little info update of what's been going on. I haven't been around for a while here, I don't even know, it's probably been at least a week, maybe more since I did a video. Been so damn busy I haven't been able to see straight, so I just kind of neglected it. I didn't really have any pods that I felt like eating that were anything spectacular, so no pot eating videos. Plants are doing good, I haven't done an update on them in a little while, a few weeks. Uh, everything's growing good. But what I wanted to make this uh, video about was, which a lot of you already know that I've seen you're joining it, is uh, I finally went and joined Facebook. As much as I fought it, man, I fought, <laughs> I fought it forever because I used to be on it with four accounts and it was just insanely chaotic to try to keep up with. And I swore I'd never go back, but man, along with just the family and friends from 20, 30 years ago, and then now, now add the chili head community to that holy crap so here we go it's a lot of work but I got there so I could uh, got on there so I could open a storefront and I found that you could open a storefront for free basically and just sell stuff that way it'd be a little easier than going through Gmail and going back and forth and email explaining how it works and it uses the exact same system it's all through it just works through PayPal it's easier you can see a picture of the sauces it's the same prices nothing's changed um, considering maybe going on to eBay with, because they have a pretty decent store, from what I'm being told by one of my subscribers, Joe, who knows a lot about it. He said it's worth the cost of the 11% to for everything they offer. So I'm still looking into that. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do it. I probably eventually will, maybe. But I'm also going to open a website. <coughs> yeah, I still got this crap, by the way, and uh, it's almost gone. And I'm going I'm to get a cheap website going, just something else for people who aren't on Facebook, which I've already been told by more than a few that they don't do Facebook either, so it doesn't do them a damn bit of good. So anyhow, I'll have a couple ways for people to get sauces easier and, you know, let you guys know when something's going on or a new sauce instead of spamming all my videos with it. Uh, I don't know what that's going to be. I kind of know what it's going to be called, and I know where I'm going to do it and all that. I'm just working on a logo. i got a guy doing a logo for me, a cool friend that works for me, and... He's got a pretty cool logo going and made up a funky name, so I'll let you guys all know what that is pretty soon here, but anyhow, we got all that in the works, I just haven't been around to tell anybody about it, so here you go. I'm going to put the links to the uh, Facebook store, it's T. Mutter's uh, Chili Den, same as my YouTube page is called, and it'll just be a simple link to go in and buy sauces, nothing spectacular, it's not fancy, but it works, and I will put the link to my website once I get it up. I'm going to try this weekend. I got today off and have tomorrow off, so I'm going to try to get it going and get all the pictures up and all that stuff. Figure out the shipping, shopping cart and all that. I don't know how any of that works yet. But I guess it handles international orders pretty well, so we'll see how that all works. That's kind of confusing in general, but I work through it now. It just takes a lot of extra time. Uh, I figured I'd show you a couple of these uh, plants I got going to since they're sitting right here. They're going really good. They're growing huge. This thing's dripping because I just planted it. This is the, uh, I just up potted it, potted it up. I mean, so this is, I don't know what it is. It's a uh, Ukrainian. This is one of the Ukrainian ones, but it's got a nice pepper on it already. It's freaking cold out here, but it's got one, two, three, four, four pods started on it already. I said, ah, what the hell? I might as well just let them grow. Things growing tall as hell. I think it's got to be an annuum or something. It's growing way too fast for a chinense. But it's got kind of a cool look to it, whatever that is. It's like a, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Just saw a picture on a seed pack and it was a big, one of them was a huge red pepper like that. And one was about like that. And the other one looked kind of like a cayenne maybe. So there's three different varieties I got growing. That's just one of them. The other one is uh, growing. It looks kind of like a, um, right now it's about the size of a Tabasco pepper. I didn't bring it over here. And these are the uh, Reapers, they're going pretty good. They're growing a little slow for tenants, but it's cold as hell out, you know, it's well, cold for us. But it's nice and nice and healthy. Growing good, we're all doing good. Just got three of them growing. Looks good, new growth, no problems. I haven't done anything to them except a little violet miracle grow and a few drops in the water when I water them and that's it. I love the soil I'm using. It's a, uh, I'm using the Promix BX this time, this year, all across the board. I'm gonna use it. 
I'm not mix messing with screwing up with my own mix of some weird crap. I'm just going to do it with that, pay the money and do it. And I'm going to mix it with one bale of that, the 3.8 cubic foot bale with one big bag, like a double sized bag of miracle Grow um, potting soil and maybe a bag of mushroom compost. And that's it. I may throw a little extra perlite in there if it looks like it needs it. But there's quite a bit in uh, in uh, pearl mix, so I might not. But that's it. That's what I'm mixing exactly. If anybody wants to do it, and it's fluffy. I mean, it's it's nice. That that mix is phenomenal. When I pulled those, this one right here, this was probably three inches, two inches longer, taller than what it was. I buried that much of the stem, but it was in a solo cup this big and it was that tall with them peppers on it and the reason it didn't get stunted is because of the mix the medium that I used because and it was not root bound it was was not turning around in circles around the bottom it was all the way to the bottom just barely and all the way to every side just perfect root formation because how loose that soil is so you get a nice root ball you get great formation I'm seeing that already that was obvious every single one of them wasn't root bound I thought they would be completely root bound as big as those plants were in them little cups and I was just freaking out they're still growing and pushing out pods and they're growing a lot every day and it's cold out so I looked at one of the reapers and popped it out and it's the same thing it's not even to the bottom anywhere near the bottom yet it's just spreading out nice and even so anyhow that's a testament to me that I'm going the right direction with them this year and I'll live by my Bill's fertilizer and spray and grow and that's it and keep the damn bugs away and that'll be my regimen this year with uh, 51 different varieties of strains and crosses and weird hybrids and just some really cool shit that I collected all year. I collected some of the rarest coolest stuff I could find and just I'm going to plant them all and see what the hell I get so it should be really interesting I'll tell you. All super hots except one. I think I have one besides these these three ukrainian ones i doubt they're going to be super hot but um i have a turbo pube if you remember my video from that one bright orange from volker that i had to plant I, I know i wanted all super hots this year i decided on and i had to plant it so it's just a really good pepper the flavor is unbelievable and it's a pubescent so but it's pretty hot too it's not like it's wimpy or anything it's pretty hot pepper but it's not a it's not quite a super but I don't care. I'll have one. Maybe a couple other ones. We'll see. If somebody, I have another, uh, Bart Myers sending me some that I look like I might have to plant one of them too. The chocolate red or chocolate cherry annual. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see as the year goes on here what makes it, what doesn't. I planted every one of those 72 plants making it. I put four or five seeds in every cup. I'm definitely going to get germination. I don't care. I don't want to do it over and I'll just pop the ones off that I don't want and make sure I get all starts and if they die I'm replanting it and I ain't going to sit here and screw it all up I want it to be easy so anyhow that's that just wanted to let you all know about the Facebook page get over there and friend me or like my uh, chili den or do whatever you got to do and add me to your book and uh, I'm trying to keep up I'm in all kinds of chili groups and wow it's a lot of work it's take some time you can sit there all day and and not be done you know it's constant activity it's always somebody talking about something so anyhow add one more to the social media book anyhow I'll let y'all know when I get the site up and if I come across a good pot to try here I might do one of my chocolate boots here pretty soon I don't think I've ever done one of my own so I might do that in the next day or two we'll see but anyhow thanks for watching guys and we'll see you later